Good morning. My name is Sean Robertson and I'm Sales and Marketing Director at Sunsequ International. And I'd like to take you through this morning the latest in our new yacht deliveries, the 88 yacht. So she'll be ready at the end of 2020 and we'll be looking at a launch at Dusseldorf Show in January 2021. So what's different about the 88? So where we want to first start is this exterior profile detailing the features that you see when you first look at the outside. And one of the key changes we're making over the, the existing range, the 86 yacht for example, is keeping the hull glazing as you see here, but then as we come up to the bulwark is actually incorporating glazed areas through this top section. Now you may remember on the older range we had the drop down balconies on the sides which were very I think a, a, a feature, but probably not that used by clients ultimately in the field. So by incorporating this glass, what it then allows is from the internal spaces with the full height glazing at any time of day and without dropping any bulwarks, that visibility of looking from the inside to the outside and ultimately to the water. So a real change and it gives the, the whole detail a dramatically different look. We're also seeing that if we come to the upper superstructure, that A, keeping it in the darker colours, so the coach roof, the hard top, really lowers the profile, even coming up to the radar mast and the ant antennas themselves in a dark colour can really change the overall look. And you'll probably notice here is that although the hard top is normally an option on a, any of the, uh, the range in the, in the Sunseeker yachts, We've really looked at it as part of the, the integral design. You know, we'll, we will never build an 88 as we have an 86 without the hardtop. So make it much more integral, flowing with the lines of the current superstructure, which I hope you can see here. It really fits together with the overall design and silhouette of the yacht. Uh, other changes you'll see is a more super yacht look, uh, look to the railing. So around the aft end of that flybridge, will be a glazed railing rather than just the stainless steel poles. And then small features. You know, if you look through all the, the new uh, releases, right the way through from the Evo to the Manhattans and now through to the yacht range, making more of small accents, nameplates, air intakes, using contrasting colors or even carbon fiber and stainless to really make them stand out. Another bigger demand we're starting to see is going back almost to where we were in the earlier 2000s of coloured hulls. So where I think the glazing for the last few years has given that feature in a white hull, we're seeing more and more demand for gelled colours and also painted hulls and even superstructures. And again, that's something I hope you can see on the presentation, gives the ATA a dramatic differently look if you, uh, if you go ahead with one of these colour changes. So let's come all the way down to where you would first of all see the boat from the quayside, and that's this stern area. So bathing platform, as throughout the Sunseeker range, is fully hydraulic and can carry your main tender up to a 4.4, 4.5 metre um, uh, jet rib or equivalent on the, on the bathing platform. But forward of that now, in this aft moulding, traditionally we'd have the crew cabin access, which you still do on the starboard side. But then in the centre, we've created this water sports um, storage locker. So whether your, your passion is diving, paddle boarding, sea bobs, whatever it may be, by opening this centre door, you have a great storage location and seat, overhead shower and lighting to make best use of that equipment right down at water level. Incorporated into that door, what we've also done is when it's in the down position, so the closed position, that a uh, chaise long will pivot out of that door and give you a great at water level relaxation area. Alternatively, open the door, bring it up to 90 degrees, and again, fold out the chaise long and you have a great seating arrangement that actually adds to the aft cockpit. So really extending the use of that aft cockpit space. 
Now to make use of that, the aft railings will fold uh, to port and starboard. So you've got a seamless th flow through the aft cockpit to this additional seating space. So a real change, it's called the Extend system. Uh, and it's something that we're incorporating in a lot of the new yacht range that's being launched. So the aft cockpit itself uh, is a completely flat deck with loose furniture. So whether you want uh, a very casual seating arrangement, a more formal dining table, we can accommodate that very easily. And then going forward, you have this completely flush floor with a drainage grating here into the saloon. So there's no transition of going over a threshold, completely flush. So you walk straight into a great uh, seating area. Um, plenty of seating here for six to eight people. Uh, and then the TV, the AV system, all mounted on the starboard side. And trying to keep that super yacht feel is there's then this uh, almost uh, counter level barrier you know between the the lounge seating and the dining so it's it flows because it's only at counter level so you see all the way through but it does give a separation changes a flooring maybe going from carpet to wood flooring here gives it a completely different feel and look but seamlessly joined together and if it's going to be formal dining we've made sure that we've added in the cabinetry the storage so for crockery glassware, silverware, is all at hand on this aft-facing transition bulkhead and then on the forward starboard side here. So everything falls to hand to adequately serve the uh, dining area. Starboard side, we have the option of a fully uh, sliding patio door. So again, even in this dining space with that door open and the aft door open, you're in this inside-outside space with all the glazing, fresh air coming through. It's a, it's a really different environment from being enclosed in the superstructure of a yacht. Forward, we have a day head on the starboard side. We have the access stairs, which are cleverly hidden. So you'll, you will never see this staircase coming in through the saloon and dining area. And then you have two sliding doors. One on the starboard side is your main access through to helm, uh, into the galley space and then more on this port side we'd think it more as a a crew serving door so if you are sat at the dining table or in the seating here and want drinks food served through it's a very almost quite concealed doorway for crew to serve aft so again I think it works very well whether this is a client run boat family run boat or if you're working with a full crew, maybe being used as a charter boat, the flow of doorways, people, access works extremely well. So into the galley itself, you'll notice we've actually pushed the galley now right forward underneath the main windscreen. So what you've lost is previously, we've always had a small seating group here opposite the helm, which although it's used, was probably in the worst place to sit on the boat, fully under the screen in that med heat is not ideal. And it was really sort of joined to the galley, which do doesn't really work that well. So by eliminating that seating, we pushed the galley completely forward, which obviously has given much more space for the areas that you do use in the dining and the seating through the main saloon area here. Galley incorporates full height fridge freezers. Uh, we've got two access doorways to the side deck again great access for the crew it does incorporate this central peninsula come bar area so again for clients maybe in the morning a great place to sit and have a coffee read the paper and with these doors open you're not isolated from the rest of the boat it becomes very open in fact with the doors open here from the aft cockpit you're seeing all the way through to the forward windscreen so more flexible in how it's used, depending on how the boat's run with, uh, with crew or guests. And it's very flexible in its arrangement to make it work for a multitude of uses. The console itself, as with all the new yachts being introduced, totally redesigned, ergonomically improved so everything falls to hand, and a lot more of the minor controls being incorporated into larger screens. 
So it means you get a much cleaner look, a much simpler operation of the equipment as you go through. So if we come back to the main staircase, leads down to the lower deck, and the biggest change you'll see over the, really the boat that this is um, carrying on from, the 86 yachts, is that we've moved the master cabin from the midships layout to a more aft layout. Why we've done this is it improves the flow for the guests on that lower deck level. It means that the master cabin is probably in the widest point of the yacht. It has the head incorporated as a sound barrier to all the machinery and engine room. And it allows a single access through also from this lobby, from the bottom of this staircase, to the two twin cabins which again are a great size and actually allow the berths to slide together to make a double if required on each cabin. And also then you come forward into this, this VIP suite that although it is a more awkward shape than the master because of the obviously the, the rake of the bow, the bow coming into, the, uh, into more of a V, it's a great space. I mean, to be honest, you almost have two master cabins in the lower deck of this yacht all benefiting from the glazing that you see in the hull, obviously all en suite, and all the guest space is being interlinked, so you're never going to be separated maybe from younger members of the family. The other great step forward is all of the interior is benefiting from a complete redesign, not only in layout, as we've talked about, but in the shape of cabinetry, the latest materials being used, hard surfaces, floorings, uh, soft fabrics, to ensure that you've got a completely uh, up-to-date and completely modern feel to this interior. The outgoing yacht, the 86, we've got to remember started its life back in 2014. So the world has jumped ahead in both design and materials and the 88 really takes advantage of that in its look and feel and flexibility of design. Um, if we come back to the aft area we shouldn't forget that obviously on this lower deck as well you've got the uh, crew cabin which again carries on where the 86 left off with two separate crew cabins with twin bunks uh, uh, up and down bunks in each a great separate um, head and shower section for them their own uh, mini galley uh, and uh, crew space you know for seating and relaxing the stacked washer dryer and also the access straight through into the engine room. So if we talk technically, she's running with either the V10 or V12 MTUs. That will give her a 26 to 28 knot top end speed and a very, very flexible cruise, efficient cruise anywhere from 11 to, to 20 knots. Fuel capacity is 11,000 litres and with the uh, typical Sunseeker hard chine deep V hull that's been slightly flattened in terms of V and dead rise as we go aft to give more weight compa carrying capacity, it means that if we do slow down to that 11 knot speed, it will give her well over a thousand knot range, a uh, thousand mile range. Um, so finally, we shouldn't forget the other external spaces. So we've talked about the stern and the flexibility of the extend system and seating here. Uh, the bow has what is now a typical Sunseeker layout with the fixed sunbed forward and then a great relaxed seating table area here. And that can have a combination of parasol or pram hood style um, sun protection depending on how you want to use that space. And of course, we shouldn't forget the flybridge. Uh, a huge space, um, somewhere in the region of 10 meters long, obviously virtually the six meter beam, particularly in the aft section here. The standard layout gives you fixed sunbathing, great bar stroke serving space with optional stools, a more formal seating area with folding table, and then probably one of the nicest areas to be on the boat when it's running, opposite to the helm here, you have a great U-shaped seating. And the favourite place for me to sit is just in front of that, 
protected by the screen, a lovely flat, so almost shares long area, which gives you protection from the wind, but great visibility of where you're going. So that was it. That's a very brief walk through the new 88 yacht. Um, if you've got any queries, please contact us, your local dealer, direct here at Sunseeker, and we hope to welcome you to Paul and welcome you to the Sunseeker family very soon. Thank you.